Hey, hey, wonderful morning, YouTube. Sandy C here with some uncommon sense. But it should be common, so we're gonna make it back that way. I'm gonna take you into one of my vehicles and show you things I never leave home without. And then I also have some more stuff if I'm planning a longer trip. So, let's go see what you should never leave home without, and things you should always, always, always have in your vehicles, each one of them, okay? Let's check it out. I've got my, and I'll do another story about this, 99E150 that I'm truly, absolutely in love with. I've also got its 2002 brother and some other older stuff. All my vehicles are old enough to drink. Uh, I sold my new Rams, I sold my new RV, I sold all my new junk, because I didn't need it and it was expensive. So. Let's go in here and see what we have prepared. All right. Okay. So first over here, I've got stuff. I don't care if you're going to your neighbor's house. If you're taking a car, you need to have this stuff in there. Number one, you need some water. Okay? You need some water in a bottle. But you want to make sure not to leave a water bottle in your vehicle, uh, especially here in Florida with that sun. It'll leach all type of carcinogenic contaminants. Ooh, that's fun. I did it first try. Into your water. So basically, you'll be drinking poison. That's not fun. Okay. So, but either way, you want that in your car. Okay. Another thing I always keep, you're going to get greasy, put some napkins in there. You maybe got some kids that need to wipe. Put some spare light bulbs. You know, it gets dark on you. You're on your way home late from work. You got a light out. Boom. Boom. It's a 30 second to one minute change rather than risking the 30 minutes dealing with a police officer that pulled you over. Spare light, boom, easy peasy. Fuses, should always have a box of fuses. Uh, gosh, there's so many times something, I'm sure you've all seen it, your dashboard goes black, your window stops working, your headlight, you know, all kind of little things. Maybe not nine times out of 10, but a lot of times if you have the fuse, that's all it is. You can make a quick fix, get back to on the road, um, get yourself home. An air inflator. Doesn't matter what kind. This one's cool. It's got the gauge on the back. It's not accurate at all. Um, but a little air thing. Sometimes you don't have a full flat. You just got something low. You want to pump that up and get yourself to a safer spot. You know, if you get a flat in a dangerous area... And if you can give it a little air and just limp out, limp to somewhere safe, somewhere well lit, boom, you want that there. Uh, in addition to that, a tire plug kit. I think they're $4.99 or $5.99. I put one in every single car. I have used this probably more than anything. I love this. Okay, flashlight. Flashlights are fantastic. They're a great defensive weapon. You put that bright thing in somebody's eye, they're backing off. They're not coming at you. Uh, also, if you're working on something at night, you got dark corners of your car, your keys went down, helps with that. Um, a lighter. Fire's always good. Uh, look at the people that got stuck in the ice and all that junk uh, this winter. If you had a lighter, you can make yourself a little fire, keep your toes warm. I'm in Florida, so I put some sunscreen in the car. Uh, another essential I've never had to use these for myself personally I never leave with them but I tell you I've probably jumped <sighs> several dozen people's cars um, so it's never helped me per se but I've been able to help a lot of people by carrying jumper cables in my vehicle and it's something every person should have every good person carry some jumper cables not necessarily for you but for thy neighbor okay i also keep knife aka tool i like a big old kukri there's a lot you can do with it i mean it's a flathead screwdriver it's a defense weapon i mean it can trim wire it can do a lot of things so it's just always good to have a tool like that in a vehicle Med kit, med kit, med kit, med kit. Doesn't have to be big. I've got some other bigger ones, but 
this little guy here has got your basic stuff. You can close up a wound, but there is one thing. Hold on out. Bear with me. I add to every medical kit, and I got this from a uh, uh, captain of a uh, fire rescue captain. And I got to see it used firsthand after an oven exploded. Um, add mustard and aluminum foil to any and all of your med kits. This is the best burn treatment I've ever found. And I've had numerous firefighters and fire rescue uh, share this with me. Something enzyme in the mustard uh, coupled uh, absorbs, you know, whatever's burning. If you know what exactly what it is, Put that smart medical description uh, in the description, in the comments below. But aluminum foil and mustard, the best burn treatment, aluminum foil and mustard. Another great thing, we all have electronics that unfortunately we rely on too much. So this is a fantastic power bank. I can keep my phone charged and this one has a bonus. You can see it there. It's also a solar panel. So it can stay charged in the sun and whatnot and keep my electronics charged so I can be in communication with AAA or whoever. All right. Um, zip ties. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. I had my shifter cable blow on my motorcycle. I was about four hours, a few hundred miles from home. I was able to zip tie it back together and ride home and get my bike and get me home safely to where I could then properly uh, repair the issue. But zip ties are fantastic to have. There's a ton of uses for them, kind of like duct tape. You should have that too. You won't see it in here, but get some duct tape. Okay, another thing, food, little jar of food. I remember my mom always had pretzels. Pretzels is a great thing to have. Um, so they don't melt and stuff like other candy bars. But a little thing of food. And if you're going further, put more food in there. Uh, if you're going on a really long trip or through some dangerous mountain passes or anything, you know, you might have a blizzard. Pack enough food for eight hours to two days or so. You know, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Okay, let's move on to some more. Uh, oh. Also, you want tools, air pressure checker. Shoot, this is more important than ever now. With gas skyrocketing, keep your tires aired up. Aired up tires will give you 10 to 200% better gas mileage. Keep them, keep them aired up. Okay, also good to have a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. A hammer to bang something out. Set of slip joint pliers and you know, I like to keep a tool bag uh, in a vehicle. That may be a lot for most people, but here's a good little universal socket. So if you don't need all this, boom, here you go. This fits in, fits, fits in one hand. That's, all, that's what you need. That, that'll cover your basic stuff. Um, you know, you don't want to be stuck on the side of the road waiting for help when you wish you just had a little flat head or a phillips something just needed to be tweaked tightened or put back together okay so that's a basic toolkit i like to here's some of my more advanced stuff i always check you want to know you got uh your jack your spare tire and you want to know how to use it and take it out so practice with it but if i'm going on a longer trip i keep a half inch gun right here in my vehicle i can change a tire in under 10 minutes by having that in there easy peasy i look for it on sale uh shoot around half off or something i love having that in a vehicle great uh let's go back here here's some more advanced stuff um i keep all this around this kind of goes with just preparing for what's happening with the economy so on a short trip i won't take all this stuff with me but if i'm going you know, more than a few hundred miles away from home, I'm loading in some uh, Lucas stop slip for my transmission. I'm loading in some oil stabilizer. I'm loading in an extra quart of oil. 
I never leave without an extra serpentine belt. Uh, these sometimes can be a little tricky and hard to find. Uh, but having this in the vehicle, it's a three minute change. Why not? Throw it in the truck. Easy peasy. Um, I also keep spare air filters, spare oil filter. I even keep a spare starter on hand in my garage. Or like I said, if I'm going on a longer trip, it goes in the vehicle because I know with my little bit of tools here and my starter here, I've already done it once. I know I can change that out in 30 to 40 minutes on the road before, you know, help even arrives. Boom, I've helped myself and I'm on my way. Um, another cool thing is a little scanner. I don't have enough experience really to get enough out of this. Um, it's a little above me, but it is kind of quick and nice. Um, at least you can get some basic codes out of it. Um, you know, check a fuse here, or there, things like that. So that's not a bad thing. And I want to say this is only 35 bucks on, uh, SouthAmericanJungle.com. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. You know, in the van, it, I got all this beautiful, nice wood furniture. It's nice to hide it in there. Not everybody has that, but uh, you've got under your seats. You've got your trunk. I've always designated a corner of my trunk to being prepared. Um, it's having everything I need. Uh, extra windshield wipers are a great addition. Uh, a little bit of wire. You know, there's a lot of great things. Just think about anything that can go wrong. And how, if it does, how can I be, how can I put myself in the best case scenario when something does go wrong? And having this stuff, having this here, you know, me being able to change a tire in 10, 15 minutes before everyone gets hot and cranky helps tremendously. Um, med kit, water, uh, extra light bulbs, flashlights. Fuses, fuses, fuses. Just get the fuses. They're fantastic to have in there. You'll use them. The tire plug kit. These are all things I've A, either learned from my parents and or B, learned from my own experience of uh, you know being ready or not being ready. Um, and actually a lot of it I've learned from my friends not being ready and they call me because they know I got what's going on and I can help them out. So that's the other thing about being prepared. It might not be for you or for your family. It could be for someone else or someone else's family. And that's a lot bigger deal when you can help someone else that's in trouble that didn't prepare. Uh, because if you were a able to help them and B, you better believe they're going to be prepared next time. So you just, all, you fed a man to fish, but you also taught that man to fish as well. Uh, so that's just some cool vehicle preparedness. I'll have more coming at you too. Um, also, the reasons why I sold these or have all these old enough to drink vehicles. Uh, there's some great insurance reasons behind that that I'll share you with. Share you with? Share with you. Um, but I want to cut it off there, guys. Leave anything in the comments that you like to have in your vehicles. Um, things that you do not leave home without. Things that you put in your children's vehicles. Oh! I almost forgot, I almost forgot one of my best things. And this I have used. This I got from my dad. In your vehicle, you should hide a minimum. But remember, none of this is any advice. I'm no one special, I'm an idiot. I I don't know anything. Who would trust me? Look at me. I'm a boy with three foot long hair. What in the heck? But, oh yeah. Number one thing to keep in. I mean, I would say this is probably the number one thing. Cash. Hide some cash. Hide some cash. I like to have a minimum of $100 in small denominations hidden around my vehicle. Okay, I've got them hidden in glove compartment boxes and books. All around the vehicle just have a few ones, few fives, tens, twenties, things like that. For a number of reasons. I've been out on the highway. No gas station, no cities, no nothing for a couple hundred miles. Just one gas station in the middle of nowhere. And guess what? 
Their credit card processor is down. Holy Toledo, if I didn't have the cash stashed in my hidey holes, I, I would have been stuck there indefinitely until they got their credit card machine up. Um, you're going to the sports game. We're all so used to having credit cards and no cra cash. You pull up to the parking. Hey, anybody got cash? Nobody's got cap. Oh, okay, everybody close your eyes. Let me go into my hidey hole and boom, now we got par parking paid for. Just a myriad of different things or if you're on the side of the road and there's some kind of deal for sale or something, boom, cash. Liquid cash is always good so that you can take advantage of something you may either need or want. So remember that one. Keep some cash hidden in your vehicle. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm sure there's some stuff I forgot. I can't wait to have you folks let me know in the comments. Uh, and again, Ninja Nation, you are awesome. Thank you so much. This is about being prepared and not scared. Let's go.